Otwin is one of the servers that I've wanted to play on for quite some time and never thought I would. A YouTube friend named Alex, uh, SliceDK, plays on this server. I found out about it through another player on the server who's no longer there. Alex put out a call recently that he would like to have some of his viewers on the server. And I asked if I could be on and he said yes. The server is already very well developed. I mean, the minute 1.8 hit, they went to town. And most of the farms and stuff have already been built. And a lot of people aren't playing anymore. And it's kind of lonely. This is my base. You know me, I always build right into the ground the minute I start. And I build my base into whatever I started out with originally. I'm not too far from spawn. To my right there is Alex's base, and beyond that would be uh, Spawn. We're pretty far away from each other, though. So I'm building a bonsai tree. A sculpted tree, kind of stunted, short, but with sprawling branches. And I'm using this uh, dark oak farm. So Atuan has almost everything on it, but a person needs. I'm taking it to my nether base, near the nether hub. So it's fun for me to see all the contraptions already built, but Alex is engaged with another server right now in Danish, a Danish language server. This is a problem I'm having with portals on all servers. Sometimes when I fall, I stay there for quite some time. I'm afraid I'll get killed <laughs> in the non-place where I end up. I'm making a chicken restaurant for the nether in case people get hungry. I haven't finished growing wheat and so on. But it is really interesting to see all the contraptions already built, not in a video, but in game, so that I can study them. I have a very long tunnel. We've gotten to the end of it. There's my advertising for my chicken farm, I mean my chicken restaurant. So I'm taking you on a tour of what other people have built. I can take no credit for any of this. I haven't contributed in any way, although I would like to. Some things are broken or need a little improving or whatnot. So if and when people get back on the server, I'd like to participate. This is an ender elevator. I don't use ender pearls if I don't have to. This takes you to the raw nether. Because I haven't earned the right to use them, because I haven't fought the dragon. So I try not to use ender pearls. There are some places on this base and on other servers too, where I have to use ender pearls or I won't be able to have access to things. This is extremely dangerous. I never know where I'm going to spawn and it's ugly because it's dirt and I'm going to ask the people on the server if I could build something nicer. There's a slime elevator, but given the lag and so on, this, is, this server is hosted in Europe. Given the lag and so on, I don't think I'm going to do that. I can't even negotiate ladders because the game doesn't know where I am. It's real scary. I got killed at Alex's Witch Farm. I'm going to get killed here. Splat. So the game doesn't quite know where I am. See, I'm glitching right now. Because I'm near my bed and a pressure plate and a chest. So the game's confused. Anyway, I'm going to ask if that ladder system and slime elevator over there at spawn if I could build a spiral staircase around it so that I can get up and down without breaking my neck every time I come to spawn. So we're back so I can get my stuff. See it happen again. So I've always wanted to play on this server with these people and I hope that they will get re-inspired. Like I said, some farms and stuff are broken and could use repair. And that's motivation, but perhaps not motivation enough. But I might be able to suggest a project that might be inspiring to people. I don't know. Got my stuff, and I'll show you some of the spawn stuff. That house there has villagers for trading. This is Zuma's melon and pumpkin farm that you can see on Hermitcraft. This is a shorter version of it, but I find it really useful. I'm collecting melon blocks so for my tree and of course pumpkins. Oh yes, absolutely. Little cactus farm that always scares me to death. I'm never looking at it when a cactus grows and 
fluffs off and I always think it's somebody breaking wool. So it always startles me because I'm here alone and I'm hearing wool breaking. And I accidentally killed too many of these cows. I was trying to reduce the lag. And unfortunately there's only one cow there and I feel it's my duty to repair that. Here's a chicken cooker, automatic chicken cooker. I believe this might be Mumbo Jumbo's design. Another great source of lag. But a good way to grab some chicken on your way to doing whatever you're doing. And here's the iron farm. I believe this is Tango Tech's iron farm. It's not that big fancy one that looks like a butterfly. It's a new iteration. For reasons nobody knows, this stopped working. Now, there's real careful restrictions around spawn. Don't place any doors, that sort of thing, so you don't disrupt the villages. So nobody quite knows why it stopped working, but I think it's worth trying to repair it. Those pillars mark spawn, so you know where the spawn chunk is pretty much. And you know not to put doors inside that area colored beacons. I'm having a thing with, you know how the beacons disappear if you're not looking right at them and stuff? I'm having a thing with cows on another server where I'm playing. Cows, I'll be looking right at them, right up close like that. But if I turn my head a little bit, the cow disappears. So I don't know what they've done, but it makes life interesting. So mostly I'm working on my base. I have a, oh, this is Alex's base. I put that minecart there because I had a zombie pig man in it. I don't know what happened. Alex always has too many animals on some of his servers and let's plays and single player worlds and stuff. He has so many cows, they, the sounds are glitching out and stuff like that. So Alex, he made a giant water box and his whole base is inside of it. I watched him build it on his YouTube channel and oh, that was a lot of work. Of course, it won't load in for me. I've got my chunk set at 12, and things don't load in well for me anyway, but you get the idea. This little campfire, that's Jesper's campfire. So we'll go to Alex's witch farm. I have a problem with walls right behind portals. When I teleport in, I have a real hard time maintaining my position. So here's a witch farm. I This might have been made by Doc M77 or by people on the Zip Crowd server or JL or something. And me, like a doofus, I go and step on the pistons. I could have died. Genius. But anyway, the pistons were forgiving. They let me get away with it. It's not far from spawn either. It's just far enough to be out of the spawn chunks so it's not loaded constantly. There's an AFK platform up the ladder. This is a ladder that I died on, so I'm approaching it with extreme caution. Because, yeah. So this is something I would have liked to have helped build. He still needs to work on it. I don't know what he needs to do, but if he ever gets motivated to come back and goof around with it, I'd sure like to help. I think it'd be nice to do a collaborative thing with Alex. Alex is a very a soft-spoken, intelligent, calm person with a wicked sense of humor. This is quite a long walk. I'm not going to make you walk it with me. And of course, there's never mine carts. You know, people build rail systems in the nether constantly and never have mine carts. I just saw one on Hermitcraft the other day. Beautiful long rail tunnel and not a mine cart. So it had to be walked. So this is Alex's iteration of a guardian farm. This is very far away and it's in, see I can't get out. There's a wall behind me and doors in front of me and the game doesn't know that I'm clicking on the doors and ugh, it's a mess. So Alex made this before Zuma started work on his. So this is all his idea. Uh, water shoot too. Well, I got here just in time to watch this. The water chute washes them down on top of those blocks, and then on a timer, a hopper clock, 
the blocks open and the guardians fall in and it, they stay open long enough for guardians to collect in the bottom and then it squashes them. So this is all Alex's work. I watched him do this too, placing all the sand and digging it out and digging out all the blocks of the guardian temple and and this collects a lot, a lot, a lot. Maybe not 10,000 items per hour, but it looks pretty efficient to me. Although I did hear a spider outside one of the walls. There's a cave system below. I heard bats. So it may need to be lit up or filled in or something down below because that might be reducing the guardian spawn. The mob cap's getting reached by other cooties and not all guardians. Beautiful, isn't it? He worked very, very hard on this. Again, it's really laggy. Part of that's because the texture pack, uh, the Simple Craft texture pack, hasn't updated for the new blocks, and so these are default blocks, and they are in 16-bit rather than 8-bit. But actually, to do the Guardian Farm justice, you really need to have 16-bit textures so that you can see the details and the stones and so on. Here's a little AFK platform. He's got a bed up here. with an observation deck so that you can see how beautiful the farm is and watch the creatures spawning and floating down. This big man, I think it wants to get back into the nether and there's doors, so it can't. Zombie pig men are not like zombies, they don't do doors. Taking you on a view of perimeter of the Guardian Farm. A lot of new stuff is happening in my life. There are going to be massive changes I hope to play here about once a week. If you listen somewhere along here, I have the volume turned off so I can narrate this, but if you listen, you'll hear hissing sounds. I thought it might be wild guardians. He has seen a few outside the perimeter, but later I'll see what it actually is. Warm, sunny day. So there are going to be a lot of changes on my channel. I'm going to be playing on this server, I hope, once a week. And there are some other servers I've joined that I will be announcing soon. And I've also resumed my work with Empathy's server. So I'm showing you the bottom of it. And I'm very excited. I don't. I know I don't sound like it, but I'm really excited about one server in particular. But I won't announce it until the server actually opens. And I hope I'm there at opening time on opening day. The server's located in the UK, I assume, so I'll have to get my timing down just perfect, but it's a, it's another, there are three servers that I really wanted to play on. One was Hermitcraft, one was this one, and another one was, well, Bob. It's owned by Zombie Cleo, private whitelisted server for just her friends. She hardly ever records there. But any opportunity to be able to play with Zombie Cleo, I would have jumped at the chance. So I might as well announce it now. Zombie Cleo is opening a Patreon server, whitelisted server, and she has invited me to play on it. That's a big deal to me. I'll also be playing on False Symmetry's server. So Ottoin, Empathy, Whatever Zombie Cleo is going to call hers, and whatever False Symmetry is going to call hers. I like False. She's a very sweet girl. So here's my work so far. A lot of stuff is changing. I'm going to be meeting a lot of new people and networking with them and getting to collaborate with them on all kinds of projects. Empathy's asked me to do some extra work with video for her channel for a introduction and promotion of her channel. And things are progressing in interesting ways, I think. I'm pretty happy. It's been really hard and a lot of gruesome, cruel, vicious things have happened to me in the past year. And I didn't give up because this is too important to me. It's my way out of poverty. I can do this. I can do this. But some very important people... Um, became obstacles to me uh, and it was extremely painful 
and people associated with those folks, fanboys, wannabes, did some real cruel, harassing, sabotaging stuff to me. Uh, tried to dox me, give out my personal information, and things like that. So it's been really tricky, and things are opening up now, and I feel like I'm respected and appreciated and welcome in Minecraft with people that I truly respect and have done for quite some time. So here I am on the Autoin server. Thank you, Alex, for inviting me. I hope we can collaborate together. The other people on the server are very nice. I've met a couple of them. And some of them YouTube and some of them don't. But I hope we get to play together. Yes, I retextured the paintings. I didn't like I don't know if that guy was holding a cane or a weapon, but like a long gun. But I wanted a pig man, pig person, in a suit with a flower. So that's what I did. And that's my banner for Ottoan. I have a banner now for Granny Gamer 1. That's my banner for Ottoan. And there's a retextured painting as well. I don't even remember what that painting was, but it was something I didn't like. I don't like the big red flower, but I'll work on it. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe all that good stuff. Share it with your friends. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye!